Hi and welcome to program 44 in the series of programs and tutorials that focus on TradeStation Easy Language. If you're not familiar with our website, which is markplex.com, then please go there and sign up for the email list. So today's program looks for CCI Ghosts, and if you're not familiar with this, you might want to just Google CCI ghosts, but essentially we're looking for chart patterns or CCI patterns that resemble a ghost. In other words, we've got a head and two shoulders and the two shoulders are less than the head or rather the value for a uh, bearish ghost. The two shoulders, the CCI values are less than the CCI value of the head. And uh, so what the program does, it just simply looks for three pivots in a row and it just makes sure that the one in the middle is higher than the ones on either side and it does a similar thing for the for the bullish ghosts which are just the same pattern but turned upside down what the program also does is it draws a line if there are if there do happen to be two uh, low pivots between the high pivots it will draw a line across them and uh, you can then see if that crosses the cci or not so let's have a look at the uh, the program in operation and you'll see here I've got it applied to a pound dollar 15 minute chart and uh, you'll notice that actually we've got this applied twice we've got it applied to subgraph one and also subgraph two on subgraph one you'll see that we're getting these little um, textual indications that a pattern has occurred on subgraph two you're actually seeing the pattern being highlighted on the underlying CCI this program uses four different sorts of CCI, standard CCI, fast CCI, smooth CCI and uh, smooth fast CCI. So you can choose which of those that you want to use and I'll go through the inputs in a moment. You can also determine how strong the pivots are and uh, obviously the colors of the various things that, that are being drawn on the chart and uh, a couple of other presentational things. So let me uh, let me go through and show you first of all how you would go about setting up a chart so what i've done set up a euro dollar weekly chart here and uh, firstly i'm going to insert the indicator into this chart and it's program 44 and i don't want to be seeing this here I need to uh, change which cci this is determining which cci we're using so one is for standard two is for fast which uh, CCI is three for smooth, four for smooth fast. And uh, I'm going to just say that in terms of scaling that I don't want to see the actual CCI plot here. We're just interested in the text because what we're now going to do is we're going to insert another euro dollar into this particular chart same time scale and what I'm going to do is insert the indicator again now because we've got the indicator applied to us you will need to make sure in this particular case that the inputs are the same on both otherwise you may be wondering exactly what is happening so I'm going to double click on this one we need to make a few changes here first of all we want to base this on number two it's very important don't forget that in terms of inputs You'll uh, see I described this on the web page, but draw text. If this is set to true, it draws text, but it doesn't draw the highlighted patterns. If we set it to false, it doesn't do the text, but it will do the highlighted patterns. And then what we also need to do is just change the scaling here. So I'm going to change it from minus 250 to 250. And we're going to say OK. So nothing much has changed at the moment oh one other thing we need to do is we just we need to be applied to subgraph 2 like so okay it looks a little bit of a mess at the moment because we need to do a couple of other things we're going to format the symbol itself data 2 and there's going to be a couple of things we're going to do first of all in terms of scaling we're going to make this minus 250 to 250 so it's the same scaling as the indicator fixed scaling and we're also going to change the style we're going to change it dot on close and I'm just going to change the color to a sort of similar blue that we've got in the chart background okay and you can now see that we're getting the patterns actually highlighted on the chart some of these not quite as beautiful as the ones that uh, we looked at to start with but uh, nevertheless they do 
fulfill the uh, the test that we're doing okay so that is how to to set up a chart of course you don't need to include the uh, the cci at the bottom if you don't want to but you might find that useful incidentally the white lines here the histogram that follows the cci that we're using so if you change the cci the histogram will all, always be under the one that we're looking for ghosts with um, okay so what we're going to do now is just go through the inputs and uh, explain them a little bit more so we're going to format analysis techniques and uh, let's just go through this one here doesn't matter which one we go for really okay which cci i've already mentioned one two three or four draw text this is uh, determining whether we're drawing the 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 text on the chart or whether we're drawing the highlighted patterns on the subgraph lower line and upper line these are the lines drawn on the cci if we uh, if we can see the cci chosen chosen cci color this is the color of that histogram that i just mentioned a moment ago so that follows the histogram the uh, cci that we've chosen cci color this is the uh, standard cci got uh, dark gray here show regular cci this determines whether we see the regular cci and the fast cci if that's set to false we don't we just see the smooth ccis cci fast color red smooth cci color cyan and smooth fast cci color magenta i think they're self-explanatory horizontal lines these are the horizontal lines on the cci uh, subgraph they're dark gray and then we've got the bearish color and the bullish color these are the ones that determine the the color of those patterns so if i just for example change that to well actually we're not going to be seeing this because this is applied to subgraph one but i'll do that in a moment uh, text color this is the color on the chart so we could change that to say yellow and uh, then we've got the values that determine the cci itself cci length fast length smooth length and fast smooth length then left strength and right strength these determine how great or how strong the pivot is so left strength if left strength of three means that uh, for a top cci pivot a high cci pivot we have to have three bar three cci values three bars to the left of that high that are actually less than the cci value and similarly with a right strength of one it just means we have to have one bar to the right of the cci pivot where the value is less than the cci pivot value and then finally separator this determines when we do get because this program is looking for the high ghosts and the uh, the bullish and bearish ghosts simultaneously we can get situations where they're actually being drawn on top of each other so what this does it just separates the uh, the, the ghost uh, drawings by a little bit so you can just see that there are actually two so i'm going to say okay here and close and what we'll see now is the text is being drawn as a yellow color if we were to go to the other analysis technique and uh, that is the one applied to data two we could for example change the uh, the bearish color from red to magenta let's just do that and uh, see what that looks like okay now you can see that the the high values there are being um, drawn a different color and as i said if we were to go in and change the separation value for example let's just make it say five a little bit higher and say okay then what we will see is when two um, of the patterns overlap each other you just get a little in indication because the values are slightly separated so you can see in this particular case here there's a green line and a magenta line happening simultaneously just before that uh, bullish ghost also I, I think i mentioned that uh, if there are two low values we do draw this line here which is just for you to use manually and you can extend that right if you wish to just by clicking on it and turning off or on the extend right okay this program can also be applied to other types of charts so for example a renko chart um, but you can at least see the the words being drawn on the chart like so anyway i hope uh, you might find this useful and if you're interested in downloading it, it is, it is available for download at uh, markplex.com, M-A-R-K-P-L-E-X. That's M-A-R-K-P-L-E-X. And uh, thank you very much.